Hi, I'm Avon, CRM and Marketing Automation Specialist at Relevate. In this video, I'm gonna talk about different types of number fields and how you can display those numbers with or without commas, how they fit together and which field you would use and why. I'm covering Zoho CRM specifically. So if you've got any other questions about Zoho, you can check out our Zoho playlist and that'll be linked in the description. Otherwise, this is a question for someone who is in our Relevate online community. Let's dive in and take a look. Okay, so here we are now. I am in the goals record. So, and I've just got a test object. Now you could do this anywhere. It could be the lead, the contact, the account, but just for the purpose of this, I'm in the goal record. And we can see I've added three number fields here. And we've got a number field, a currency field, a long integer, and a single line field. Now these are four different types of fields that can hold numbers. And the number field is what it says it is. It holds a certain number of digits and there is a maximum on this. Then you've got currency field, which just puts a dollar sign and then you can select how many numbers you would like after the decimal place. Then you've got long integer. It's for those really long tailed numbers that might be part of a ID or some form of unique identifier. And then you've got single line. Now single line is actually a text field, but you can use it to store numbers, particularly if you need to have other characters in there like dots, dashes, brackets, or any of those sorts of things. So let's have a look on how to make changes. In particular, the question in the community was, how do I get rid of the comma value separators for things like bank account IDs, tax file numbers, etc. So let's first go into the settings. There's a couple ways to do this. I like to just go from the record that I'm on, I go edit, I then come across to edit page layout in the top left. Once I select that, I'm now on the edit record page. Okay, so if I scroll down here, we can see those four fields which I added just as custom fields. But if I come over here onto the field palette, you can see the fields that I've grabbed. Here's the single line, here is the number field, here's the currency field, then there is the long integer field. And if I hover over the back of the fields, now I've just used their standard name, but I could customize that to be what I want it to be. For example, account number. If I hover over the three dots, I get this menu. And in the menu, we can see markers required, so I can make it mandatory. I can set a permission level as to who could see it. I can edit properties and we'll come to this. We can create a layout rule. So say for example, with a layout rule, if account is required checkbox is select yes, then display these two fields. It might be BSB and account number, for example. Or you could create a validation rule to say that it needs to be nine characters long or six characters long in the case of a BSB. We're just gonna to go to edit properties here. And this is gonna solve the question that this person has in our community. So they wanna remove the number separator, which is the commas which happen between every three digits. You simply come over to here, display with number separator, and then we deselect that one, then click done and then save. And that's gonna allow that number to display as a continuous number, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, instead of one, two, three, comma, four, five, six, comma, et cetera. Going back into the edit properties, we have some other options. We have the ability to mark it as required. We have the ability to cap the number of digits. Now the maximum is nine. So if you need to store more than nine digits, which is the case for most ABN or Australian business numbers, then you're better off using a long integer field. I can also not allow duplicate values. So if I was using a serial number or a barcode number that had to be a unique identifier, then I can use this do not allow duplicate values. Uh, you have encrypt field. If that is something relating to a password, then you can do that. And then you've got tooltip. So tooltip is that little information button, kind of like what's happening here. When you hover over it, it gives an extra element of text. So you have a limited number of characters you can use with the tooltip, but the tooltip allows you to give just that little bit of context. So when the user comes in, it reduces all questions and they can just fill out the field. So we have deselected the display with number separator. So we can just exit out of this one. Let's go into the next one. I'm going to click on the three dots and then I'm going to go to edit properties again. This is the currency field. It allows me to look at the number of digits allowed. And of course we have a cap of 16 digits. And any longer than that, you really need to look at a text field or a long integer field, but we'll get to that. So again, the currency field puts a dollar sign in the front and the decimals at the rear. So you can do up to nine decimal places and you have rounding options. So if you selected two decimal places, 
and someone put in a three or four decimal place number, as soon as you save that, it will round up, round down, or just stay whatever those two numbers are. And then you can of course turn rounding off. Same thing again, we've got required, encrypt, and show tooltip. Moving on to the long integer field. Let's go to edit properties. And we can see here now we've got 18 digits, which is the maximum allowed for the long integer, which is good for really long serial numbers. And again, any more than that, you probably need a short text field, which is going to allow a number of characters. So we've got required, do not allow duplicate values, encrypt, display with number separator. And again, we can deselect that. And then we've got the show tool tip. So go done. Then lastly, we have the single line. Again, this is a text field. So if we click into that one, we go edit properties. The single line field, we've got a maximum of 255 characters. So if you had a number that long or that was more than 18 digits, you could use this. However, it does now allow someone to enter other than numbers. For example, dots, dashes, letters, etc. We have the other same characteristics where we can have it as required, do not allow duplicate values, encrypt the field or show tooltip. So that is how to create and manage different types of number fields inside your Zoho CRM. If you found this video useful, please give it a like, a subscribe, and let us know what you thought in the comments. If you have any other questions, also add to the comments. Otherwise, you can join our Relevate community, which is an online community where you can ask technical questions and get answers. There's also a networking component and a lot of useful resources that you can grab over there. If you found this video useful and you wanna check out one of our other videos, there's a link in the description to the Zoho playlist. Otherwise, you can watch the next video right here.